This is the people's house, and the people have a voice. And I've got to tell you that silence is just not enough. One minute of silence is just not enough. Now, Sunday, I sat in church, St. Luke Missionary Baptist Church in Charlotte, and they had a, a moment of remembrance, remembering the victims who were killed in Orlando and those who were killed in the church in South Carolina on yeah. last year because it was about the same time. And so when those 49 faces came across the screen, it was a chilling moment because many of those folks were young, very young. You know, America is in a troubling state of affairs. And this Congress <laughs> needs to act. We need to be more than just concerned. You know, because there's a difference between being concerned and being committed. And the fact that my colleagues here on the, in the Democratic Party have come together today, it tells me that you are truly committed and not just concerned. Because you know, when folks are concerned about an issue, and we all are, you usually just talk it to death. You don't do much about it. And usually your position is negotiable. But here we've come as committed citizens representing the people in the people's house. And so when you're truly committed as we are here, being here today, that means that we're not just going to talk about the problem. We're going to do something about it. And our position is never negotiable. And so I say to the speaker, you need to do your job. And I say to NRA, I get an F2. NRA, get the hell out of the way. Whoa. You know?